So Game Pass is set to receive over 40 day one Game Pass titles this year, and they are completely brand new games never before released, and guys, they are freaking good. I'm Sonny, your host here at Xbox Central, and we kick this off with a game that I'm extremely excited for, and that is Stalker 2. This is one of the most anticipated games of 2024. It's an upcoming FPS horror game where you embark on this wild adventure through the horrifying Chernobyl zone to find any valuable items and weapons that are left behind. With an eerie post-apocalyptic vibe, Stalker Stalker 2 lets you explore a world that's filled to the brim with creepy mutant creatures and an impending sense of dread that keeps you on your toes the whole way. But you're not just shooting mutants here, you're going to be surviving hunger, you're going to survive bleeding, radiation, and a host of other things. Stalker 2 follows a non-linear narrative where your choices create your path and determine the outcome of the story with multiple endings. And while we don't have an exact release date, Stalker 2 is expected to drop as a day one Game Pass title sometime during the first quarter of 2024. And with that guys, I'm not just adding one game in this spot, but several. In the latest Xbox news coming directly from head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, they go on to say there will be even more to play as we begin to fulfill our commitment to offer Activision and Blizzard games within Game Pass, both new releases and classic games from its legendary catalog. As of right now guys, Diablo 4 is actually set to launch this March of this year, but the key is that new releases and classic games, and what that hopefully means is the newest Call of Duty game could be headed to Game Pass this year, or guys, even the newest World of Warcraft expansion, The War Within. Now, as I mentioned, we don't have which specific games are coming this year, but we know Activision and Blizzard games are coming to Game Pass, and that should be happening this 2024, and I honestly feel this will be the biggest year Game Pass has ever had. Which is why today's sponsor, Extra Wallets, also has something in common with Game Pass, as this is one of the biggest deals we've ever had to showcase. Listen, as Xbox gamers, let's face facts, we typically game on another level. We take our gaming serious, and I generally say we're the most savvy gamers in all of gaming, and that's the Xbox community. But how about leveling up our style at the exact same time? That's why today I'm happy to bring you guys something amazing. I've been using now for over a month Extra Wallet, and this is the perfect fusion of sleek design and smart technology. And let's be honest, we Xbox gamers take our tech to the next level, which is why this is the perfect partnership. Whether you're dominating the virtual battlefield or you're just hanging out with friends, Extra Wallets are designed to keep up with your active lifestyle. I also trust Extra Wallets to keep my essentials secure and easily accessible. For one, they are super slim and half the size of these lame, bulky wallets, just like my old one here, which is key because you guys don't want that big boy weighing you down when you're enjoying a fun gaming Xbox session. Another awesome feature is Exter's built-in RFID protection that protects you from data theft, which gives me the confidence to focus on my gaming when I'm out in public playing on Xbox Cloud Gaming or on Game Pass. Or check this huge feature that's just mind-blowing, guys. And this is my absolute favorite, the Exter Tracker. And this lets you track your wallet location with just a ringing feature, and it gives you alerts when you're separated. And this bad boy is solar-powered, perfect for when you're stranded and you're needing to charge this on the go. Guys, truthfully, whether I'm in a hardcore gaming session on Xbox or I'm just going on my daily commute, quick access to my essentials is non-negotiable, which is why I trust Extra Wallets and Extra Smart Features for my wallet needs. Use my code Xbox Central for an exclusive 5% discount, but wait, guys, that's not all the discounts I have for you. Currently, there's a Valentine's Day sale that gives 20% off, or if you miss that, there's an anniversary sale and a special spring sale upcoming and remember use my code xbox central to get that additional five percent off on top of that extra discount trust extra for all your wallet needs and thank you to extra for being today's sponsor so one of the biggest titles of the entire year is also releasing on a game pass as a day one game and it looks like it might even be an exclusive on xbox in indiana jones and the great circle now of course you step into the shoes of the iconic indiana jones himself as he is one man that's ready to stop sinister forces who are relentlessly pursuing across the globe a secret to an ancient power connected to the Great Circle. And this game is directed by Todd Howard, and it's being made from the same studio that brought to you the Wolfenstein series in Machine Games. Now, obviously, with a game like this, you're going to have some awesome immersive action with Indiana Jones, and you'll be using that iconic whip. But the game also has a deep story, exploration, and puzzles galore. The mix of action, the secrets that you'll be uncovering, the deadly 
traps that you'll be trying to avoid the entire game really fully encompasses one of the best adventure games we're about to see and it's going to be set for game pass this 2024. so we have the game a Uden chronicle 100 heroes this is a modern take on the classic jrpg experience that takes you to a fantastical world called alrod and here we've got humans and beastmen and elves and desert folks just doing their thing before a war just suddenly erupts and now it's going to be up to you to save the realm from this absolute chaos as the name already indicates the game lets you choose from a hundred unique heroes each with their own skills and abilities now in terms of gameplay you've got that classic jrpg vibes with turn-based battles a vast and gorgeous world to explore and magical runes to collect for supernatural powers a Uden chronicles 100 heroes is set for a release on game pass on april 23rd 2024 our next game is manor lords this is an upcoming medieval strategy game that lets you take control of a powerful lord who's tasked to oversee the growth of a new settlement now in manor lords it promises a historically accurate gameplay with tons of awesome features including gridless city building an emphasis on resource management and a realistic portrayal of historical warfare that adds to the game's immersion it's an engaging strategy game for those who enjoy large-scale tactical battles with complex economic and social simulation elements you will have complete freedom guys to rule your kingdom but you better keep an eye out on some dynamic changes in seasons weather and even what your neighboring kingdoms are up to and you have to prepare yourself for whatever this medieval world is about to throw at you so the game tower born is an action rpg from the creators of banna saga trilogy it's an exhilarating brawler that puts you in the shoes of ace a warrior sworn to protect humanity from the monsters lurking right outside the walls of belfry now the game looks absolutely stunning with vibrant stylistic visuals and an intense combat system that has you fighting hordes of enemies with all sorts of crazy weapons and luckily you're not alone towerborn also lets you play cooperatively with up to three other players for that added support but that's far from it you've got fully customizable character creation diverse weapon styles and even spirit companions that add depth to the overall brawler gameplay there's no fixed release date on this but towerborn is expected to come out during the first half of 2024 now if you're in for some real adventure you guys better be ready to face the apocalypse in dead static drive this is an upcoming driving meets horror survival game that drops you in a world full of mutated monsters and strange creatures here you play as a young boy trying to find his friends and family members going from town to town doing quests in hopes of learning their whereabouts but i have to say guys this game reminds me of like a toned down version of project zomboid that puts instead a heavy emphasis on interpersonal dynamics as friendships become a crucial part of surviving a society on the verge of collapse of course you're still going to be able to do all the fun survival stuff from resource gathering to finding a safe haven and whatnot but guys it's got a potential to become a very hit zombie survival game when it does drop on game pass this 2024 now for all the people out there who love some farming simulation games i've got a unique one here in lightyear frontier it's an open world farming adventure game that brilliantly combines the relaxation of exo farming with the thrill of open world exploration with a vibrant retro futuristic setting the game lets you gather resources find new and fresh lands grow plants and look after your very own garden in space with a ton of unique alien plants and crops to cultivate each with their own growth patterns and conditions it's definitely going to take a while before you kind of get the hang of exo farming but it's not all farming lightyear frontier also has you exploring this massive open world to uncover ancient secrets things like alien artifacts with your trusty old tools and tractors and the very best part about this guys you get to tag along with three other friends to really get their farming ventures going together this one drops this early 2024 flintock the siege of dawn is a game that's created a lot of hype with its impactful combat scenes and it's an upcoming open world action rpg title that puts you in the shoes of a brave warrior norvanic leading the army of mortals against the supreme forces of angered gods with nothing but gunpowder and a magical creature by your side you have to fight the undead forces sent by the gods to give humanity a second chance and while there's much to learn about this game still flintock promises an engaging storyline with an equally impactful combat system that's all about wrecking enemies with a combo of weapons and killer abilities besides the epic fights you also get to explore a stunningly gorgeous and vast open world filled with lots of different environments this looks like it's going to be a good one when it drops on game pass this 2024 all right so my personal most anticipated game on this entire list is Senua saga's hellblade 2 the much awaited sequel to one of the best action adventure games to ever exist at least in my opinion hellblade 2 continues Senua's journey through the brutal and savage world of viking hell introducing nightmares 
nightmares, challenges, insane puzzles, and an emotionally charged story that builds on its predecessor. For me, it's not just a game. It's a journey of survival through a visually stunning world of myth that lets you experience the mental trauma and struggle of a warrior in the name of love, which guys, you totally understand if you played the first, but if you guys didn't, I think this game will still be super enjoyable. And the very best part about this, you get to dive into this epic adventure on day one with your Xbox Game Pass subscription. Now, if you're a fan of strategy games with a knack for history, Aura History Untold might be that perfect game. It's an upcoming 4X strategy game that puts you in charge of your nation's fate as you lead them through different eras and fight against rival civilizations to prove you're the top dog in the grand scheme of things. Now, you get to explore, you get to build and expand your empire through some breathtaking landscapes. But what actually sets Aura History Untold apart from other strategy games, it's a simultaneous turns feature that adds a layer of suspense and unpredictability to every single move. The game even lets you dive into history as iconic figures, like Queen Neferetti, I think I'm mispronouncing that, or George Washington, which definitely adds a unique flair to your gameplay. So Avowed is yet another epic looking RPG title from the guys at Obsidian. In this upcoming first person role playing game, you step into the shoes of a fierce warrior from the Adair Empire, sent to investigate the mysterious plague that's taken over the region of living lands. Luckily though, you have the means and skills to fight this plague and the enemies that are out for your blood. Now it's not a full blown open world game, but don't worry, you've got some pretty expansive zones to explore under your feet. And by the looks of it, Avowed also offers an impactful combat system that lets you take on your rivals with magic, melee weapons, even a trusty old pistol. Plus, you're not completely alone in this adventure as you can recruit some NPC buddies to join your party and help you out. This looks like a great one as it's for sure headed this 2024 on Game Pass. Now, Replaced is a dark retro futuristic action platformer that takes you to an alternate 1980s America where the neon soaked streets of Phoenix City are crawling with outlaws and corruption. The game puts you in the shoes of Reach. This is an AI trapped inside a human body, trying to survive in a brutal society that's just gone haywire after a nuclear mishap. Now, it might not look too fancy at first glance, but Replace has got some super cool cinematic action with free flow combat that lets you kick some pixelated butts in style. The game also promises a deep and meaningful storyline that revolves around topics of greed and corruption and the struggles of being human in an AI dominated society. So even if you're not super into 2D platformers, I think Replaced is definitely going to be worth a shot. Now, if you're a fan of Flight Simulator, 2024 is going to be an epic year because we have Microsoft's upcoming Flight Simulator 2024 lined up as a day one release on Game Pass. Now, building upon the success of its predecessor, this upcoming installment promises a career mode style mission system that offers everything from aerial firefighting to air ambulance missions, helicopter cargo, hook transports to even air racing. It's like a dream come true for someone who wants to experience the life of a pilot without any sort of, you know, certification. But it's not just about the missions. Flight Simulator 2024 also introduces a fleet of new aircrafts, including gliders, airships, hot air balloons, and airliners. And to make the skies more realistic, the game also introduces more dynamic features like snow, tornadoes, auroras, even animal migration. It's a major step from the 2020 Flight Simulator, and it's definitely going to keep us all hooked for many hours. So Away to the Woods is an upcoming third person adventure game that was supposed to release back in March 2023, but unfortunately it got pushed to this year. Now in this game, you journey as a mother deer and her fawn trying to navigate a desolate city to find their way back to the woods. It's a short yet emotionally charged journey that has you guiding the deer through a very dangerous environment with challenging obstacles while making sure that you can keep the fawn well fed to strengthen the bond between the two of you. The game offers a sad and surreal environment that only adds to the level of immersion in the game. Way to the Woods is expected to come out early 2024 on Game Pass. Dungeons of Hinterburg is an adventure RPG title that puts you in the shoes of Louisa, a burnt out law trainee taking a break from her chaotic life in the picturesque Austrian landscapes. It's a great mix of exploration and action that lets you do everything from snowboarding down the glaciers to zip lining through lush forests and taking on challenging dungeons filled with all types of monsters. The combat in this game is like a fun blend of swordplay with fantastic abilities like conjuring snowboards and freezing enemies in jelly blocks and while you're not fighting monsters you're either busy solving head scratching puzzles or talking to the locals to forge relationships and learn about their adventures it's a great choice for someone who loves a zelda like games and it's coming out this 2024
Four. Then we have Kunitsugami Path of Goddess, yet another action adventure game that promises a fine combination of fast paced combat and exhilarating battles. It's still early to tell what this game's all about, but it's safe to say that the story revolves around an epic clash between the spirit realm and the mortal world, where the player would play a key role in deciding the fate of two nations. Path of Goddess is likely to offer an exciting mix of action and strategy with a fusion of combat styles to fight epic battles with really fierce enemies. There's no fixed release date, but Path of Goddess is expected to come out sometime this 2024. Now it's time to take a deep dive into the ocean with another crab's treasure. This is an upcoming stylized action adventure game where you take control of a cute hermit crab on a mission to get back to his lost shell. Set in the depths of an open world ocean, the game's all about surviving in a place where everyone basically wants to chew you up. But luckily, you're not just another crab, you've got actually skills to fight back. Speaking of which, the Souls-like combat system, and that's right, I said Souls-like combat, is where this game shines the brightest as you take on enemies many times your size. You start off with basic attacks, and then you learn more as you go, which makes it easy enough for Souls-like beginners to get started while keeping things equally challenging for the veteran players. And of course, there'll be plenty of makeshift shells that you can use before you get the one that belongs to you ultimately in the end. Now, Arc 2 is easily one of the most anticipated games on this list, and for good reason. Set in, of course, in the prehistoric world of dinosaurs, in the campaign mode, you get to put yourself in the shoes of Santiago, played by none other than Vin Diesel himself. Now, Arc 2 promises to redefine the whole experience of its predecessor with an array of new and improved features, including advanced character traversal mechanics, instance rendering, and even full stackable user created mods. With enhanced graphics and realistic lighting, Arc 2 offers a highly immersive game world that's filled with intricate details that make it feel much more alive. But, guys, that's not all. The game also comes packed with an expansive skill tree, customizable weapons, and tools that add more depth to the gameplay. Now, there's no fixed release date yet, but Arc 2 is expected to drop by at the very least at the end of 2024. Now, Still Wakes the Deeps, a first person narrative horror game that puts you in the shoes of an oil rig worker who has lost all ways of communication after a brutal storm. Now, with the oil rig about to collapse, the player has to find a way to survive and brave the storm while exploring this eerie dark place for supplies with no escape in sight. The game's brilliance lies in its simplicity. There's no combat, there's no weapons or powers. It's just the player's wits and determination to survive this harrowing storm that's bent on destroying this weakened oil rig. If you're looking for a dreadful horror experience without combat, definitely keep an eye on this one. Our next game is Fable 4, the upcoming addition to the long-running Fable series. Now, I've talked about this game a couple times before, but we still don't have a fixed release date for it. However, though, it is expected to drop on Game Pass as a day one release by the end of this year year 2024, but unlike previous entries, Fable 4 won't be a direct sequel to the franchise, but rather a fresh new take on the series that would take players back to the gorgeous land of Albion. With a new team, fresh new ideas, and Forza's iconic game engine, Fable 4 is set to take things to a whole new level, and while we still don't know anything about the storyline or even the gameplay, we can expect a blend of open world exploration, some thrilling action with a heavy focus on character development, and of course compelling storylines guess we will have to wait for more information about this game, but hopefully that won't be too long from now. So gamers and game developers seem to have developed a strange obsession with weird simulation games, and Pigeon Simulator seems to be just another equally strange addition to that long list of games. Here you play as a time-traveling pigeon on a wild journey to find and stop an evil goose bent on destroying reality. And by the way, that has to be the best narrative I've ever seen. But of course, you're not a saint either. You actually have an arsenal of weapons at your disposal to unleash Armageddon on unsuspecting civilians. Much like the popular Ghost Simulator game, this one's all about causing chaos in the most epic ways possible. Whether it's setting the trucks on fire with your breath or dragging civilians with your beak, you can really do all kinds of crazy stuff. And the best part is, you get your pigeon to bulk and develop more powerful abilities by eating junk. So if you want a game with no rules and absolute chaos, keep this one in mind. So Everwild is yet another upcoming action adventure game that's been in talks now and in development for many years. Despite that, there's very little we know about this game, both in terms of storyline and gameplay. However, from the looks of the early trailers, we can expect to see a gorgeous game world with a distinctive art style and captivating focus on magic, fantastical creatures, and our relationship with them. One of the trailers also gave us like a short glimpse of a predator hunting down these creatures, which suggests we might have to confront some wild beasts as well. The characters also summon a magical beast to revive a dying deer, which also
also points to supernatural abilities in the game. Of course, these are just speculations from my side, but it'll be a good one when it does drop on Game Pass this 2024. So Routine is an upcoming horror survival game that was first announced over a decade ago and is resurfaced with a new trailer and horror fans are absolutely loving it. While the specifics of the storyline still remain a mystery, the latest trailer shows a spooky, atmospheric space station infested with killer robots, and the player is potentially stuck in the lunar base and can be seen confronting these evil robots with the sci-fi radiation gun, which suggests there will be action to witness in this game with stealth being a crucial part of the gameplay. Meanwhile, the visuals look great with this classic 80s aesthetic that really bumps up the level of immersion and horror in this game. Now, a game that definitely has my attention this 2024 is Clockwork Revolution, one of the most innovative games on this list. It's like a steampunk meets time traveling in a Victorian era city called Avalon, and you're this mysterious character that's messing with time, and every move you make in the past seems to mess with the present lives of people living in the city. Again, we don't know what the story is all about and how it unfolds exactly, but man, the game just looks awesome. The bustling city, the Victorian vibes, that whole time manipulation thing it's got that unique charm that makes me want to give it a try as soon as it comes out on game pass this upcoming year and i would be remiss in mentioning guys there's just a lot of bioshock vibes coming from this one which in my opinion is a huge positive citizen sleeper was like a fresh breeze in the gaming world and now the creators are gearing up for round two with citizen sleeper 2 star ward vector this is the next installment in the series that puts you in the shoes of another rebel android trying to escape the system with a wonky body a bounty on his head and a mind full of blanks about his past. Your mission is to find a crew, get your ship up and running, and escape through this system-wide crisis. Citizen Sleeper 2 offers unique tabletop RPG mechanics where your fate lies in the roll of the dice, and the higher the roll of that dice, the greater chance of success in your quest. And if the first game is anything to go by, we can definitely expect yet another intense RPG experience that'll keep you at the edge of your seat the whole way through. Now, if you happen to love cooking and Metroidvanias, Magical Delicacy might be that perfect game. It's it's an exciting blend of Metroidvania exploration and the wholesome cooking that puts players in the shoes of a young witch called Flora. And you'll be setting up a shop in the bustling harbor town of Grat, and you'll embark on a charming adventure cooking magical dishes using a carefully selected ingredients and exploring the town through casual platforming. With tons of different ingredients and recipes, the cooking mechanics in this game offer like a sense of freedom to really cook up a wide variety of dishes. But it's not just casual cooking as well, you'll also get to engage with various characters, each with their own unique orders and stories, really adding depth to the whole experience. It's a perfect game for someone who wants cooking, exploration, and storytelling all in one game. So a lot of us have been waiting for the game Hollow Knight Silk Song, and the original was honestly dubbed the best Metroidvania of all time, and maybe even by some, one of the best indie games of all time. But Hollow Knight Silk Song really looks to draw from that first one and make it bigger and better. And while we mostly have nothing but trailers to go by on how the progress of this game has looked, you can tell that this game when it does release this year it will probably be in running for indie game of the year if not even more awards than that this should be a good one when it releases on game pass sometime in 2024 now bounty star is a unique game because it combines mechs with base building and farming but it has a really cool premise you play as clem an ex-soldier who feels extraordinary guilt for your past actions as a war veteran so to redeem yourself you fight for good by cleaning up the red expanse around you and taking out violent criminals and dangerous beasts but while you aren't doing that you're actually building up your base of operations you're you're growing food and you're cooking and you're producing ammo and fuel for combat you're even raising animals and of course upgrading your mech as you go and try to be as powerful as it can be so that way you can take on all the evils around you this is a promising day one game pass title and i think it could be a sleeper hit of 2024 now city skylines 2 is sent to drop on consoles this 2024 including xbox game pass and this city builder gives you unrivaled freedom and tools that really let you create your own utopia in your vision. The sequel comes through with new and improved economic simulations and what the game likes to call a living economy that makes it more realistic. There's also new traffic systems and more realistic weather patterns and of course the biggest thing is just more buildable square footage and thousands of building assets that really lets you put your personal stamp on the city you want to build. Now this did hit PC Game Pass back in 2023 but it will be seeing its day one Game Pass release for consoles this year. So a game that almost Almost looks like it's lies of P in 2D is Vapor World. This is a 2D Souls-like adventure where your darkest dreams and nightmares have become the actual battleground filled with unthinkable horrors. Set with a unique hand-drawn art style, you'll be fighting enemies called Tra 
dramas that lead you to the boss battles that get increasingly intense and hard. If you're a fan of Souls-like games, this looks like a good one, and it will be coming out this 2024 on Game Pass. So a new day one Game Pass arriving is Commando's Origins, the sequel to the original game, and here you take control of a team of special soldiers who've been selected on a mission with extreme importance of help saving the world. Now the backdrop of this game is set in World War II, and with these soldiers, you'll be commanding them to perform various missions that could be things like rescuing a vital person to actually engaging in the war or sabotaging supply lines behind enemy lines or flat out raiding an entire base to help the army. This is a real time strategy game with six characters who all have their own special abilities and it'll be up to you to put them in the right place to carry out that mission at all costs. The game has 10 missions in total, all with historically accurate environments native to World War II and the game will feature an actual two player split screen which I got to say I'm a big fan of. This does arrive on Game Pass this 2024. Let's be honest, indie games are where you find the most innovative ideas come to life, and Galactic Care is no exception. Galactic Care is a sandbox simulation game that puts you in charge of one of the biggest intergalactic hospitals in the universe, and you'll be treating all kinds of quirky aliens from different galaxies. And the game lets you design, furnish, and upgrade your hospital while managing an onslaught of horrendously diseased patients. Now you as the head of the hospital, you have to make your own crew. You train them for the rush hour and you help rid these patients of their illness and injuries and it's an interesting game and it highlights to me how unique games are getting every year and i love how game pass is getting this specific game because it just shows how cool xbox is willing to go ahead and grab some pretty unique games ghost bike is a game that puts you in the role of a kid from a big city on a quest to revive the last of the ghost bikes and that's these magical characters who would ride between the living world and the dead world and save lost souls now the game's all about the bikes themselves you'll be repairing and upgrading and maintaining while exploring an open world and really playing this game at your own pace. Ghost Bike does land this 2024 on Game Pass and I think it'll be a pretty cool indie game to watch for. So Airband Shadow Legacy is yet another promising title that takes you to a world full of darkness and mystery. At the helm is Ayana, the last descendant of a forgotten lineage with the powerful ability to meld with shadows, a skill she employs to masterfully traverse her surroundings while evading or eliminating her enemies. The game the combat relies heavily on stealth mechanics, which makes it all more intense and fun. Ayana can climb walls, jump long distances, and even perform acrobatic moves on the fly. This incredible agility allows her to move around the environment quickly and efficiently. But if that's not enough, Ayana also has some really badass gadgets that will get the job done in style. This looks like a promising title and hopefully will be landing sometime in Game Pass this 2024. So after the massive success of Stray, kind of looks like Cat games are about to be the next big thing. I'm being sarcastic, or maybe I'm not, but that isn't stopping the game a little kitty big city from releasing on Game Pass. This is a cute looking adventure puzzle game where you are tasked to solve a series of puzzles and quests to help a little kitty find its way back home. Now, it might sound simple, but there's more to this game than meets the eye. Little Kitty Big City has a sense of playfulness to it, which allows you to do a variety of different kitty things, such as destroying pots or annoying others, hiding in random places and just being mischievous with other cats. If you guys are a huge cat lover, I think this will be a great one for you when it launches on Game Pass this 2024. So the game Sopa is a narrative based title inspired by the movies Coco, The Little Prince and Spirited Away where you play as a boy named Mijo who steps into his grandmother's pantry but he gets pulled into a fantasy land with great mysteries that are going to have him wandering this imaginative wonders of all this great world. This game features a lot of puzzles, a heartwarming story really meant to pull on your heartstrings and an immersive soundtrack and plenty of quests along the way. This will be hitting Q2 on Game Pass this 2024. Finally, I want to talk about some games that don't have a fixed release date and there's a ton of games that are coming that are set to come later on Xbox, but I actually think we're going to hear a lot about these games this 2024 at the very minimum, so maybe we could even see a release date, who knows. We'll start this off with South of Midnight, a creepy looking adventure game that takes us on a wild ride into a mystical and mysterious American Deep South. You play as Hay Hazel, a young woman with a supernatural ability to weave magic who embarks on this epic journey to uncover the mysteries that surround her family name. While there's still so much to learn about this game, at the latest Xbox showcase, the trailer revealed quite a bit about the game's eerie and dark world filled with these intimidating monsters. Again, we don't have a fixed release date, but when it does release, this will be available on Game Pass Day 1. I'm sure you guys remember Outer Worlds, and it really took the whole RPG community by storm when it released back in 2020 for good or bad. But guess what? We are in for yet another epic round with Outer Worlds 2 on the horizon, and the sequel promises
promises a whole new star system, a fresh new crew, and a much more expansive open world to explore with the signature Outer Worlds vibes. Now, the developers are keeping everything under wraps, but looking at the first game, we can definitely expect the game to build upon its choice-driven narrative with a much deeper customization and character development, kind of mirroring the classic Fallout experience. There will be new planets to explore, new people to meet and interact with, new companions to join on your thrilling adventures, and a lot more. Outer Worlds 2 will be an Xbox exclusive coming to Game Pass as a day one release. Harold Halibut's a game that puts you in the shoes of Harold, a young lab assistant who finds himself in the heart of a sprawling spaceship submerged within an alien ocean. The thrill? Exploring every nook and cranny of this enigmatic vessel while unraveling the secrets that lie within its past. You're in for a narrative adventure that's as captivating as it is going to be mysterious. You will come across a wide cast of colorful characters, each with their own unique tale to tell. But what sets this game apart from other adventure games is its unique visuals. It's a fusion of stop motion animation and 3D graphics, and I have to say, I think it looks pretty awesome. Last but not least, we have the game State of Decay 3, and I'm a huge fan of the franchise, so much so, guys. I actually have a whole different YouTube channel dedicated to covering it. Check that out on the screen right now. But before we dive into the game itself, let me clear something up. You guys were maybe hearing about the 2027 release date rumors. Those are 100% fake. There's no official release date for the game or basically anything for that matter. Really, the only thing we got was a reveal trailer that released all the way back in 2020. Now, according to a lot of information I've personally gathered about the game, Undead Labs is heavily expanding on the multiplayer side of things with a dedicated team working on it besides the one working on the single player sandbox experience that the game's always been known for. So we can definitely expect a much more deeper survival gameplay elements with AAA quality and never seen before features that we will learn more about in the future. Make sure you guys check out my channel to know what I'm talking about. Now if you heard me on my other channel, you've heard me talk a lot about that I actually think we're going to hear about this game at the upcoming Xbox box showcase this summer. This is literally though my guess with no inside information. Either way, nobody is more excited about this game than me. It's said to be the biggest and perhaps the very biggest post-apocalyptic game we have ever seen. By far the biggest AAA backing quality behind a survival game we've ever seen as well. So it should be a good one. But with that guys, I do have a list of 60 of the best Xbox Game Pass games you should play this 2024. And there's some hidden gems on there that you guys don't know about. So make sure you click that video on the screen.